Mark. Now, turning to medical rounds tonight with warmer weather on the horizon, now is a good time to think about protecting yourself from the sun's ultraviolet rays, especially in the summer months. Dr. Robert Pierkowski is a surgical oncologist at Hartford Hospital, and he's here now to talk about melanoma. Good evening, Dr. Pierkowski. Thanks for joining us tonight. Good evening, Denise. Well, people often underestimate skin cancer, but it is one of the deadliest cancers. Who would be most prone to developing melanoma? Well, everyone is at risk for developing melanoma. However, people with fair skin, red hair, people with a number of freckles or moles are at, are, are at an increased risk of coming down with melanoma. People who have had sunburns in the past that caused them to blister and peel are at an extremely high risk of developing melanoma in their lifetime. Now, we can all be proactive when it comes to our bodies and checking for suspicious moles, but what should we be looking for? Well, we should know our body and, and learn our moles, and there's the A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma. A stands for asymmetry. In other words, if you divide a mole in half and it's not equal on both halves, that's a worrisome lesion. B stands for border. Melanomas have an irregular border. C stands for color. Melanomas do not have a uniform color. They often have different shades of darks, browns, and, and even reds in them. Hmm. D stands for diameter. Most melanomas are at least six millimeters in size. However, we've all seen melanomas that are less than six millimeters. E, which is very important, is evolution. If one has a number of moles and one sees that their moles are changing, they're becoming irregular, they're becoming raised, or they're beginning to bleed, that mold needs attention. And we have to really examine, have our spouse or, or someone look at our backs because this is an area that we ourselves can't see and that area has a high incidence of melanomas. Good point. Great information, doctor. We appreciate it. I have a few seconds left and I have to ask you uh, for some tips on choosing a sunscreen. How do we go about doing that for best protection? Well, one should have a sunscreen of at least 30 SPF. It should be broad spectrum to cover both the UVAs and the UVB ultraviolet light. And it should be also applied correctly. And one must remember that if we pick up a melanoma early, the cure rate approaches 100%. Well, that's good. I love to end on a positive, and I thank you so much, Dr. Pierkowski, for sharing your insight with us tonight.